So the first control structure we're going to talk about is something called a conditional statement. And a conditional statement is a basic if statement that says, okay, if this condition is true, then go ahead and run this block of code that is inside the curly brackets. And this is something that we use quite a lot when we create any sort of script inside PHP. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this episode here. So the first control structure we're gonna talk about is something called an if statement. And an if statement is something we use quite a lot inside our PHP code. And it's something that helps us run a certain block of code if a certain condition has been met. If it hasn't been met, then we can decide to run another block of code. And that is something we use quite often inside PHP. So to give an example, let's say I have two numbers and I want to compare these two numbers with each other. Inside my code, I can run an if statement to check are these two numbers the same? If they are the same, I want to run one block of code. If they're not the same, then I want to run another block of code. So this is something we can do using these if statements. When we talk about if statements, there's actually three different types we need to talk about. There's the if statement, the else if statement, and an else statement. And the reason we have three different types of statements here is because we can actually chain these together in order to check for multiple conditions after one another. So I can start a condition check with an if statement. And as you can see here, we have an if statement that goes in and checks is A equal to B. And notice that I'm using three equal signs, meaning that I'm checking if they're the same number and also if they're the same data type. This is very important because I want to make sure that they are exactly the same and not one of them is a number and another one is the same number, but a string data type. I want to make sure these two are exactly the same with the data types as well. So then with this if statement, I can actually go ahead and say, well, if they are the same, then I want to echo out inside the browser, they are the same. And now this if statement here is only going to run if they are in fact the same. If they're not the same, then nothing else is going to happen unless I chain a else statement behind it. Now an else statement is something we use in order to run a block of code if the above conditions turns out not to be true. So if all of them are not true, then we're just gonna run this default block of code down here. So in this case, if we could say if the numbers are not the same, then I'm gonna add an else statement at the end and say, well, they are not the same. So no matter what sort of data we have here, we will have one of these conditions output something inside the browser. However, in some cases, we might want to add more than just one if statement because we can only check a certain condition if we have parentheses after the condition, which the if statement does have, but the else statement does not have it. So if I want to run multiple conditions, I don't want to add multiple if statements under each other because that's just gonna start another chain of conditions. Instead, we should make sure that we always start with an if statement and end off with an else statement and all the in-between statements in between these two has to be an else if statement. This means that we can actually go ahead and change the code into what you see here in order to check if the numbers are equal to a certain number or if the variables are equal to a certain number. So we can run multiple statements here. I can first of all check is a equal to five. If that is true, then I can echo out inside the browser. First condition is true. If it's false, then it's going to continue down to the next statement. And it's only going to continue if the previous statement has been false. So if I were to go down to the next statement, which is an else if statement that says is B equal to five, if that statement turns out to be true, then all the below statements are not gonna run. And that's because when we use the statements in this way by starting with an if statement, ending off with an else statement, and then having these else if in between, we have one chain of conditions. And even though you might not be able to tell how exactly these are supposed to be used inside our code, maybe you can, I don't know. Either way, these are really useful and we use them quite frequently. So you should memorize how we create if statements inside PHP. So having talked about if, else if, and else statements, we're also gonna talk about something called a switch. Now a switch is something that is kind of similar to an if statement, or at least a chain of if, else if, else statements in the way that we can use it for sort of the same thing, but not quite. So as you can see behind me here, I have a simple switch statement, which in this case is going to check for a certain value from a certain variable. And depending on the value, it's going to run a certain block of code inside the different switches. Now, this is something that a lot of people have questions about because when should we use an if else if statement and when should we use a switch statement? Because they seem to be kind of similar to each other or at least have the same purpose. So to give you this short answer to when to use a switch statement and when to use 
an if else if else statement? The short answer is that use a switch statement whenever you have just one value, you need to run a certain block of code depending on, because with if statements, inside the parentheses, we can run multiple conditions or we can do something much more advanced than that. Whereas when it comes to a switch statement, we just run a block of code depending on one value. That's important to note. Another reason you might want to choose a switch statement over a if statement is if you have huge blocks of code that needs to run depending on one specific answer. So in this case, a switch statement would actually be better and more optimal to use when it comes to speed inside your code. Now, when you just have a little bit of code that needs to be run inside each switch block, it doesn't really matter as much with the speed because it's not really noticeable, but huge chunks of code will make a small difference when it comes to speed. And in general, I just think that switches are much cleaner to look at. So if you have a certain example where you need to run you know, different blocks of code, depending on the answer you might get, then a switch could look a little bit cleaner. And again, the arguments for using an if else if else statement is of course, that if you want to check for much more complicated conditions, then an if else if else statement is much better to use. Another example here is also if you want to check for a Boolean, whether it's true or false, then an if statement is just much better to use because again, switches are better if you have many different blocks of code with many different outcomes, then a switch is better. If you just have a few different outcomes depending on something your user might have submitted or something, then the switch is not really the best way to go. And don't get fooled by the fact that I gave more pros to the switch compared to the if statements because it is really about the purpose behind of why or what kind of code you need to run inside your script. So don't choose a switch every single time because one is not better than the other. They just have different purposes. But besides this, this is what I want to teach you in this episode. I hope you sort of understood what I meant about conditional statements when it comes to if else if else statements and the switches because you will be using them quite often inside your code. So if you didn't understand it, I do recommend starting the video over just kind of watching it again <laughs> because you will be using it inside your code in the future. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.